Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have 1 Chronicles 16:11, and this is for RJ and his weekend. It says, "Look to the Lord in His strength; seek His face always." So, yeah, we got a lot going on this weekend. All right, so um, I'm a little late recording. I've got a couple of things going on that I'm going to tell you about. I am still getting ready for the craft show, and in the sewing, I came up with these little things um they're not very inventive but they're toys uh this one i kind of revamped somebody else's and i did it. yeah so i've got this little owl and then i've got a lucky fish um i have these two that are christmasy i have this set that is just like rainbow um yeah well, this is kind of blue that one and they kind of match um, and then I've got just a cloud that I had, um, a little bit left of, and then I had this little guy. So, yeah, I made these and it's just so that I have got something for toys. Um, then I went through and I've got, so I'm just going to show you the bags. I've got two big bags like this of stuff. I took out the two shawls that I have stashed away just that I made in case I ever needed them. And I thought I'll use those, put those out. And then I've got a couple of hat sets that I've whipped up real quick and that. So I've got these two big bags and most of it's hats, scarves, a couple of fingerless mitts, things I could whip out real quick. Um, those headbands, uh, I've got a pair of slippers. Um, just, yeah, uh, a lot of the, messy bun ponytail hats but I have these two bags of stuff that I think is going to be enough for crochet and then I've got all of the bags that I've made here and there and didn't know what to do with and I just have been throwing them in a tote I went through that and that's quite a bit too so then I made these um toys like I said I've got the three lucky fish and then I've got um I call these hootie I'm sorry hitting the table um, Santa and I've got three hooties. Um, I may, uh, do some more of those and I may try some other kinds. I used to make a, a cat head, um, just simple little, and I may try to make some Christmas ornaments or something. I, I don't know. Um, but right now that is what I've got for the booth. I went to the farm and got the white and blue tablecloths. I've got pop up I've got the tables yeah um chair or two I'll need a chair <laughs> so and I think other than that I'm good to go I do have to check the pop-up tent it's been stored away and the outside case is actually got some rips in it so I'm hoping that the tent inside doesn't but we'll see um so that happened I, I got all that stuff and I am working on one thing and I saw this done it was on a show it's a show that shows on and it's it's something about sewing but she does fashion and this and she goes out and she looks at high dollar stuff and says hmm I can make that and she finds a simple way to make it so she had taken um, a 30 inch piece of fabric and I want to say it was like two yards or something or two and a half yards by 30 I don't know how long it was um but then she made this beautiful shawl and she made it it's like a wrap like a long flowy wrap the one thing she did different was she put the armholes at the top so when you put your arms through all of this was flowing and I thought I could make that I could do that so then I got to thinking and I was like hmm and I have this beautiful yarn here that I had frogged something else from, and it's got glitzy in it. And so I thought an open little thing. And so I did 30 inches, which was about 100 stitches. And I'm going to see how long I can make this. Worst case scenario, I will have a head wrap. That is one thing that, you know, um, I made sure that it would be, and however long it is, you know, a head wrap. So we will see how long this does and if I can actually make, because I only have this 
one ball of like 400 yards. And so I'm hoping that this little, and it's just an open fillet type pattern, um, double crochet, single uh, chain stitch, double crochet, and every other one. So, and if it works out, I'm going to make sure that I have the very last end will be all um, double crocheted, no stitch, because that will make the um, runner here. So there'll be a space here, and then where it folds over, she literally had the armhole up here instead of, I don't know that I'm explaining. So normally with a sweater, I put the armhole on the side here, would be left open for your arms. She put hers up this way and left this um, open. It, it, it was really cute. And so I'm going to see what I can do. Um, if I end up crocheting something to make it for it, you know, we'll see. But I am just working on that. There's no pattern. There's no anything. I'm just figuring out how to do it. And then if I can do it, I will show y'all. Because it literally is making a big rectangle. And then it's how you seam it that makes it what it is. So, um, yeah. I, I'm sorry I don't crochet a lot by pattern sometimes. Because you guys are like, oh, how to make that? Is that cute? You know, I can give you a formula. So, the other thing that happened um is i was gifted this it was actually given to me free <laughs> this is a very large tapestry loom so um it also came with i know that's funky i'm sorry it also came with these okay uh a friend of mine said she dyes hers and they are cotton loopers and what you do is you put them all together, you know, just by running this through this, and then uh, you can weave with them. I'm thinking I can make a rug. I'm going to misuse the tapestry one because I don't have, my peg loom only goes like, that. I don't know. I don't know how to tell you. I think it's two foot long. So it would only be, you know, two foot. And then this could be a rug. And these are cotton. Uh, they're made like, terry cloth i don't know if you can see that they're kind of like yeah there you go they're kind of like terry cloth so you know and they're said to be 100 percent cotton it just has a uh, thing taped to it it says 100 percent cotton loopers so um it was given to me um it was actually given so it was gifted to me by my daughter and she got it for free. So she was um, out garage sailing and they do this big hundred mile garage sale. And so she was out doing that and um, she stopped and she looked at it and she was like, hmm, wonder if mom's got that kind of loom, and which I don't. And uh, so she, uh, the lady saw her looking at it and the lady says, if you can tell me what that is, I'll just give it to you. And she looked at the lady and she's, are you serious? And uh, the lady goes, yeah. She goes, nobody can figure out what it is. It's some stuff. And she goes, I got it in an estate sale. Haven't had any luck selling it. Don't know what it is. My daughter looked at her and she said, it's a loom. My mom knows how to use them. And she said, the lady looked at her and said, congratulations it's yours so she loaded it up and she took it home and then she gifted it to me so yeah and it came with the loopers um somebody has started to put them together and i'm taking them apart because a girlfriend had recommended to me that if i wanted to dye them to dye them first and so um that is probably what i'm going to do is dye them first and then um i think i'll probably we were right if i don't do the tapestry loom and use it just because of its sheer size. I'm not, I do not do tapestry weaving. It gets monotonous to me and I don't like it. So, and that's a pretty big loom, but you can use it to weave a rug or a thing, you know, cause it's pretty big. It's got the pegs at the top and you can use, I don't know that you can't really see it in the frame. Sorry, but you can use it for other things, but it is a tapestry loom. And 
I'm not a big tapestry weaver, so, you know, you can't be good at everything, and I just don't like it. I don't know. Just not into it, but it was gifted to me, and I was thinking that, you know, at some point I may gift it to someone else, and if I can't use all the loofers on my peg loom to make a really long runner um, for the bathroom, then I will figure something else out. But this sucker is huge, and these are packed in here. There's literally tons of them. So I'm probably going to try and dye them up and do them. Uh, if you watched all the way to the end of last week's video, you know that RJ, not only did he make the PRCA finals, but he is now engaged. So if you remember him as little bitty RJ, yeah, he's engaged. He's 26 and engaged to be married um, next year. They're putting it long um, so that they can get some money together, figure out what they're going to do, where they're going to live. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, so that is everything. I know that this is short, but I honestly have just been trying to clean up the house and get stuff done. The PRCA is this weekend and it's three and a half hours away. So, yeah. Um, just trying to rush and get things done, but I did want to update you that I think I've got enough for the booth. Um, if I have time, um, just depending on what all goes on this weekend, uh, I did get my grandmother's quilt down and I'm going to work on it for my daughter for Christmas and pass that down, but it is falling apart. It was hand done by my grandma. So I need, I really have a lot of work cut out to fix that one. And then, of course, I'm making RJs. And then I've got um, two pajama tops that I've got to finish. And other than that, I just have to weave in ends on the gift bags, um, put the uh, ribbon in the top, you know, for the drawstrings. And I've got a couple more of the um, gift card holders cut out, some Christmassy ones that I need to get done, but I'm out of interfacing, so I'll go get interfacing and ribbon. Those are the two things. And then I will have everything out of that sewing room, <laughs> and it will go back to being the office. Um, and then I'll just have stuff to work on, you know, because I think I've got enough. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, so now you're up to date. PRCA this weekend. If you watch the Cowboy Channel at all, it will be live on there, uh, or at least it is in our area. Um, it starts at 7.30, I believe. 7, 7.30? Oh, we're going to be down there early. So, anyway, it's around that time. I'm sure you can look it up. But it's done in Duncan, Oklahoma. So, you guys, say a prayer for him. Everybody be pulling for him. And hopefully he does amazing. Um, he's always amazing, but I pray that he is really amazing this weekend and shows up, shows out shows God's love. So anyway, you guys have a great week and I will talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.